John Sillett and George Curtis. Um, first of all, when that goal went in against you after two minutes, did you think your dreams were coming to an end, John? No, J.H., we're slow starters. We're terrible starters. We've, we've worked at it again all week, and we've failed again, you know. We'll get it right one day. Just can't get them to start and wake up early. I mean, George, this is not good enough, is it, as managing director? I mean, you're allowing Snoz to have a bad start like that in the game. Not necessarily. We just did it for you people, actually. Oh. Just to keep it interesting, the general public. Oh, you, it was for the crowd then? Crowd, the crowd's probably, we love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> was there any point where you were worried, like that point where you looked exceedingly miserable on the bench, I thought? Well, I stood on his toe. One, one <laughs> gets a little worried at times in this game, J.H., you know, that's why I haven't got hair, I suppose. <laughs> but at the same time, we're good fishing finishers, aren't we? Oh, no. We're bad starters, good finishers. That's where you want to be, in there at the finish. Yeah. What was the most uh, exciting moment in that game today where you really either went up or down and thought, this is it, we've won, or this is it, we've lost? Do you when, think the winning goal was good? When the referee blew the final the whistle, whistle and we won. And we won three. That was it. Uh, just that to was clear up a point with you two before I finish, who's going to walk out for the charity shield at the George. George. No, John. <laughs> <laughs> we've never had a rack right yet. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a month or two to think about yeah. that. But if we can just save a, you know, the... the, the pleasure you must have got out of going through that match but to start with was a nasty moment that Clive Allen goal uh, Trevor I thought you might talk to me about should that you <laughs> <laughs> we made you captain halfway through which was nice wasn't it you know? yeah that yeah. was nice yeah yeah it was my man and uh, completely my mistake I was sick at the time we know he's lethal in that six yard box and that was my job on the day uh, obviously I didn't carry it out too well and uh, a little bit sick at the time, but I it all went I have to say, you didn't put yeah. a foot wrong yeah. after that. that. Did he put a foot that. wrong after that? Yeah. 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 I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. David, you were the man who came to the rescue. I thought you started a bit slowly today. Did you feel that yourself? I mean, not the goal, but apart from that. No, we're slow starters. It's just the way it is. Every game like that, then five, ten minutes, I never seem to get into it. Yeah. But uh, the old team's like that, so what can I say? Well, you, you, <laughs> Ray, Ray Clements would feel that you started quite quickly and moved into that ball when the chance came. Yeah, I read it quite well off the coach, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what could he do? They didn't read it, but uh, that's all that matters. It's yeah. all, that's all yeah. that matters. We'll I mean, back in the game. You actually expected Keith Houchin to win a ball in the air, did you? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I expect one of their players to flick it onto me. But uh, it doesn't matter now we've got it. I got there and that's all that matters. Yeah. Right. Yes, uh, yeah. Brian. Right. Um, that, uh, when Spurs took the lead, the 2-1, tell us about that particular goal because even the commentators <coughs> were a bit perplexed. What happened? Well, it was a free kick out wide and we'd all squeezed up on the edge of the box and uh, the ball got put across and uh, me and Mabbitt went for the same ball. Mm. People have asked me if it was an own goal. I don't know. I think uh, he came through and kicked me. And uh, he went in, I don't think he knew it. Yeah, went in off the shin. He didn't know anything yeah. about it neither. Thanks for clearing it up. We still don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, Keith, um, the goal, the flying header, really. Did you have a Did you have a touch at the start of that move? I, I think I started the move actually, didn't I? No. Oh. 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 You haven't had a shave though, have you? What a perfect cue I'll give you. Won a crunching tackle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> No, that wasn't it. No, you did. it wasn't a crunch. No, no. Yeah. I played it all wide anyway. You played an easy ball. And then yeah. I, yeah, I played an easy ball. That's what he's been telling me to do all season. <laughs> and he's got yourself second movement. And then my second movement was perfect. Was it spot on, son? Rose like a trout. And I heard uh, Pick shout to me, actually, fly. Fly and you'll get it. I remember Pick shouting, fly and you'll get it. Or take off or something yeah. like that. And I took off and it went in. And I was gutted when I turned on, the lads hadn't chased me. <laughs> <laughs> right, then it was 2-2, two, two, and of course the equaliser, we can bring in, or the winner rather, we can bring in uh, young Lloyd there. Okay. Yay! Described as an unselfish player, was really out there to keep an eye on the Spurs players, but they lost you up the right flank, didn't they? That's right, yeah. It was a great... It was me, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. Yeah. It was a great... Thought it, was it was a great ball from Graham Roger, like, put me in, just ran down the right wing. <laughs> I saw where Gary Mabbitt was. Chip it onto his knee. His knee. Yeah, chip it onto his knee so he yes. could sort of play it over. We saw Clemens over his side. And then we just waited it to come off the knee over the head. Right. The superb ball it was. Yeah. <laughs> just the right rim to put it in. I heard that. The right finish. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. Does that go as an own goal or are you going to claim that as your fourth of the season? I'm going to claim it, yes. <laughs> yeah. I promised your wife I'd score for it today, so I'm going to claim it. You your promised boy. your wife? Yeah. Uh, uh, just one other thing, Brian. I understand you took a bride's garter this morning uh, oh. off her leg. Oh. I'm only thinking.
Well, it was the bride that uh, got married in the church across the road from the hotel we stayed in tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. It's all right, lads. All right. Yeah, all right. Little Rick, across the river, and uh, the they, they, event they eventually got across the river to us. She came over, <laughs> gave her the flowers. <laughs> Walked over the river. The and then she off. says, Would you like to take the garter off my leg? And uh, Sil says, Go on. And I says, No, I can't. And he says, Go on. And so I just took it off her leg. Did you get a phone number? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, on that, and on that note, uh, at this start of uh, Coventry parties, I think we're going to say sort of a good night to you, but not, I think, before we'd all like to say, uh, thank you to Spurs for playing their part in the game. They were yeah, terrific yeah, opponents. Yeah, yeah, it was sporting. Yeah, yeah. So we'll say thank you, Spurs, and I will say good night to you, asking these Coventry players if they can sing as well as their supporters. Shall we say, let's all, all sing together. Play up, Sky Blue.